Being a clinical academic trainee involves um, combining clinical training with um, spending time in a research, research facility, um, such as a lab. And it's something that I was privileged to have the opportunity to do um, and wanted to pursue because it gave me the opportunity to have lab experience and research experience while continuing my clinical training. It allowed me the opportunity to experience working in a lab, to meet scientists, to understand the differences between the way scientists work and think and the way clinicians work and think and allowed me practically to be exposed to different techniques in the lab. It therefore also gave me the opportunity to um, prepare me for applying for a fellowship. The role of clinical academic supervisor is very rewarding. Um, to me it's the, the looking at the future academic leaders and that training is uh, both uh, stimulating uh, and drives the research forward and I think it is a very important role, it's an educational role and uh, important to allow uh, clinicians to learn science uh, and develop a different approach perhaps to looking at disease and treatments and understanding more the pathogenesis and the uh, uh, novel ways that one might approach uh, challenges of, of treatment in the future. Uh, this is how we're going to uh, generate the future science leaders uh, that are clinically trained and I think by virtue of their clinical training and the training that in science that they uh, accrue from coming into the lab they're in a very a much better position to answer the important questions that are going to uh, make disease treatments uh, enhanced over the coming years. The advice I'd give would be to Pursue the areas that you're interested in. Don't be held back by fears of time management or work pressures. To try to meet as many um, clinician scientists and scientists as you can to find out how their lab works and whether that fits for you. And then to continue your relationship with them and not to be put off if initially fellowship applications and career progressions don't seem to be going as you thought they might. Persevere, keep going and uh, and in the end there's no, me there's no reason why you can't be successful. The benefit to patients is uh, sometimes immediate in terms of translational research and is sometimes uh, more distant. The, the most important thing uh, I think that patients uh, benefit from is that we understand the diseases and we understand the treatments better. And only by doing that are we able to select the most appropriate treatments, select safe treatments and really make a difference. Without understanding the disease it is hard to see how, how we're going to make things change for the better.